Amy was worried. She was interviewing for a leadership position at one of our nation's top IT companies. She'd been working in the diversity field for the last several years out of her technical profession, and she was trying to get back into it. This is an amazing woman. She's an amazing leader. And I had to remind her, number one, you've had some phenomenal successes with your diversity initiatives that have had a bottom line impact. Number two, you are more than technically proficient. You've had some great ideas and your leadership believes in you because they wouldn't have brought you this far in the interviewing process, right? So we went over a couple things and I said, walk into that office, number one, with confidence that you are the right fit. If you believe you can do the job, walk in there with the confidence that exudes that. Talk about the good ideas you've already implemented, the strategies, the initiatives, and number three, bring in the amazing ideas that you have for the future that you're looking to bring to the company. They're going to listen to you. And that person, that leader on the other side, is going to see that confidence and see that expertise. And I look forward to hearing from you after your interview. Sure enough, a couple weeks later, Amy had the interview. She gave me the call. She got the job. She said, Vernice, thank you for our conversation. You were right when you talked about my expertise and just having that inner confidence. That's what I was missing. That's what I was lacking. And I believe that is what made, played a major role in me getting the promotion. So for the video today, the title, Are Your Obstacles Your Biggest Challenges? Hey folks, that was supposed to be Are Your Thoughts Your Biggest Obstacles? I'll be reading out of my book. Chapter 4, when you hit a brick wall, choose your weapon, obstacles and challenges. And I'll read just a quick excerpt, excerpt from page 135. We've been forming a set of beliefs from the time we were born. These beliefs change over time. With experience come new beliefs. Old ones fade away while others continue to strengthen. That, that's life. The fact that we form ideas and develop concepts and opinions distinguishes us from the other creatures in the animal kingdom. Problem is, some of the most highly held attitudes and convictions may not be based in reality. Go figure, right? And they could be limiting us. Our thoughts can be some of our biggest obstacles. If we can identify our beliefs, be honest about them, and separate them from reality, we can make better choices and become much less hung up on the ideas that hold us back. What are some of the thoughts that could be holding you back? What are some of your limiting beliefs that could be holding you back? And I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, one of the biggest questions I used to get, well, and still get, was, did you suffer from discrimination, sexism, racism, whatever? And for the most part, that would have to be a thought or something I believe, right? Because people aren't just going to necessarily come out and tell you. And I say, you know, everybody has friction. Even the average, the, not average, Married couples argue, best friends argue, brothers and sisters argue, people who love each other argue and have friction. So naturally that friction is going to occur in other places. And when someone didn't say hello to me on Monday morning, you know, it could have been because my hair is short, I smile in the morning, I could bench rest more than them, I have a motorcycle, I'm black, or I'm a woman. But I wasn't going to use or waste time trying to figure that out because I had a job to do. And my thoughts, my focus had to stay focused on that job. And that was being the best pilot of that AH-1 Whiskey Super Cobra attack helicopter that I could. Because lives were at stake. Are your thoughts your biggest obstacles? I couldn't do this video without at least uh, making a comment on the passing of Whitney Houston. All of us have challenges and obstacles that we have to conquer and navigate through every day. Sometimes our thoughts feel overwhelming and they take over. It is incumbent upon you to figure out what those limiting beliefs are, to focus your thoughts, break down the barriers, and create the life you truly want to live. I'll give you an exercise. Write down what you believe some of your thought barriers are, what some of your limiting beliefs are. And after you have that list written out, think of at least two ways you can break down those thought barriers, two actions that you can institute, implement in your life to move yourself in a different direction. 
limiting beliefs, write down at least two actions, executable items that you can do to remove those limiting, limiting beliefs from your life. Don't forget, we have the training call. If you want to take this stuff deeper, we have the training call. It's on Wednesday of this week. We're going to be sending out an email on all the details for those of you who have already signed up for the call. I only had 100 slots. Quite a few of those are gone now. Get on that call if you want to take this information deeper. If you're ready to go for that promotion for yourself, if you want to get rid of your limiting beliefs, if you want to fight for the life you truly want to live, you want to be on that call with me where I answer your questions and I can give you some of that laser coaching. I look forward to seeing you on the call and on the next video. I am Bernice Fly Girl Armor and you are cleared high.